My name is Barry Tickus. I work here at the University of Arizona Yuma Agriculture Center with weed control and general agronomics. This project was conducted by the Applied Weed Science class and we thought it would be useful to, to many of you as well to go through each of our uh, plots here and describe how the, these herbicides work. And what we did was we chose seven modes of action, seven mode, main modes of action. Um, and we uh, planted four different crops and sprayed over a couple different rates of uh, herbicides in each of these modes of action to induce the symptoms to help us better understand how these things work. This next mode of action is the photosynthesis inhibitors that include a variety of very active herbicides. In this case, it's uh, Lorox, other herbicides that are commonly used here in the low desert of Arizona and California that you might be familiar with are uh, Atrax or Atrazine, Sencor, Valpar, um, Carmex. These are all photosynthesis inhibitors. And what they do is they don't actually stop photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process in the plant that is used, as you know, to convert sunlight into other forms of energy that the plant can utilize. And it's uh, when the plant is trying to move this energy out to where it's needed elsewhere in the plant, it inhibits that transport system, which, for, which starts a chain reaction uh, which uh, causes uh, all kinds of abnormal processes in the plant that, uh, that eventually lead to death if a lethal dose is uh, absorbed. Um, symptoms uh, are uh, of this uh, mode of action is an intervenal chlorosis, stunting, and death. With some of these herbicides, you get a venal chlorosis. Uh, and in some, you just get a uniform bronzing of the leaves. But in all cases, the plant ceases to grow and eventually dies. Um, it is, uh, these, these herbicides have both soil activity and post-emergence foliar activity. And they're very systemic. Um, let's look at some of the symptoms that you might see from this mode of action. In this case, this is Lorox and it's bean, this is beans that are affected. And you can see on this bean plant, you can see that we have this intervenal chlorosis um, where the plant, the leaves have turned yellow while the veins stayed green. The plants are very stunted. This will eventually turn necrotic and die. Um, a little bit more progressive uh, stage from this, uh, this herbicide would be something like this, where this leaf, these leaves started with the intervenal chlorosis and it progressed to necro necrosis and death. They're uh, typically very slow acting, um, uh, but the weed control, as you can see in this case, is remarkable, and this includes some of our most effective herbicides. We're now going to go to our next mode of action, which is going to be our cell membrane disruptors, or in this case, the herbicide that we used is gold. 